you know, at night, I get to just laying there in the bed asleep and thinking about a project I could work on tomorrow. You know, some soldering or have to change out a part, dyno to see what's wrong with it. And then I begin to think about what parts I'm probably going to need and I need to order them. But then I get to thinking, they're probably pretty pricey. But the worst, the biggest thing is, is I got to wait. I have to wait a week or two for the parts to get here. That's the biggest thing. Waiting, the waiting, the anticipating of waiting. Then I start thinking about some old circuit boards I've got that I make and rob the parts off of there. And then I don't have to wait. And I get to thinking, yeah, I can get the parts off those circuit boards, but they're a hassle to hold. It's like you need four hands to try to hold, two hands to hold the board, two hands to hold the board, and another hand to hold the sucker to get the solder out of the way, and another one for the hot iron, soldering iron. Then I start thinking, if there was some kind of way I could find to hold that board in place to make my job easier, I wouldn't mind robbing parts off old circuit boards and stuff. Just to make my job a little easier getting the parts. Yeah, how could I do that? Well, maybe I could look for a vice. Or something that would hold it. That would really come in handy. Something that would hold the stuff I'm working on. It would need to be a certain size. Because some of the circuit boards are good size. They, you know, they're eight, nine inches in size. It can't be too anything too small. And then they're pricey. Yes, they're very pricey. They go to adding up. Oh, yeah, they could add on up. Oh, shoot. But then I get to thinking, if I had something that I could hold it, and it would rotisserate around. No, no food. No food. Just something that would rotisserate around. By hand. Yes, by hand. Something that would rotisserate around by hand would be just idea. I think I've got it. I'm going to build a rotisserie type thing that I can lock in or tighten up where it won't spin all the way over, but I can see the, both sides of the board and I can get to. And it'll hold it right in front of me. It won't be like the ones that I've seen online. It'll be a little different. Come here, I'm going to show you what I've, I'm going to collect up. Okay, here's an old circuit board. I've already cut a piece of it out of here for a, um, a model that I did for a space type movie, you know, and kind of painted in where it fits into the model. But anyhow, this is what I've got left, but it has got some, some uh, circuitry on here that could be used. And I could use this for my example. Look here, it's by Intel. But, uh, and this is no good for anything else. But I believe I am, I've got the idea that I could make it where I can rotisserate it around like that. I can get to both sides. I can flip it over and get to both sides as I'm working on it. Okay? So, these are the these are the stuff that this is stuff that I come up with here. I come up with a board here that's like 14 by seven and a half. This could be my base, okay? And thinking about this, I'll probably build me a little ridge ridge around the edge here. That way, if I put screws or the components or whatever down in there, they won't just fall places. 
And then the next thing is I gotta have an upright. You gotta think this is like a rotisserie, you know. It's gotta have two, two poles or two somethings coming up. To where you put this in the middle. Okay? Let me get you down where you see a different angle of this. Maybe that's good. Okay, I found this here, and uh, I'm gonna cut it in half. I'm not gonna bore you with doing all this build in front of you. I mean, anybody can do any of this, already knows how to cut wood, drill a hole in wood, drill two holes down here, and then copycat it onto this side. That way you got two uprights. These uprights are gonna go right in here, one on each side. That way you got your rotisserie. That way you got your rotisserie part of it right here in the middle. You got two of these, one on each side. But I'm gonna turn them in this direction. And I need it, I need it some rod, okay? Some kind of wooden rod or something. All this is gonna be wood, no metal. Just because I'm gonna work with uh, wood. But I couldn't find any dial pin or anything, the right size. But I did find this and this, which come off of a hanger, as you can see. So I'm removing this off of this hanger, discarding the hanger. I've got to cut the rod, I mean cut yeah, this wooden dial right here to where I'll have, I need two of these, okay? Two of these are going to be my slides that's going to slide down this is going to one of them it's going to go right they're both going to go in this hole here these two holes here and one of these here can slide across here okay the other one stays still it stays in one spot the other one can slide over and then with it sliding over i've got these they're the good size, the big ones. And up here at the top, I'm gonna put, I'm gonna drill a hole and put a bolt through here. Okay? To where this can hold the board and rotate all the way around if needed. Okay? And it can lock onto the board anywheres no powers in this so it ain't gonna hurt it it can lock onto the board anywheres I need it one on each side and then it'll be able to I can be able to get to both sides so and there's my nuts and my bolts I'd like to have some bolts a little longer I may go get some because I want to be able to use wing nuts up here at the top where I can tighten it down where it won't move. It'll stay still while I'm working. But I'm not going to bore you with putting it together. I'm going to go ahead and start putting some of it together and then I'll play catch up with you like I always do to where you can see where I'm at and where I'm going and why I'm going that direction. And then it eventually will get completed and you'll see that part too. Here we go. Okay, let's play catch up. I've got these drilled out, and the other one too. That is for these rods to go through. Like that, and that. And then they will slide down here. Okay, one on each side. But now as I was drilling the two holes here, it busted out on both sides. This is old wood. It's dry. It's real, real dry, and that will happen. And uh, I even worked my way up with a small drill bit to a bigger drill bit to the big drill bit. And that's that avoids usually this problem normally. But there is an answer for this where I don't have to throw it away. Um, I can use some of these shavings here shavings right here that was drilled out of here and use some uh, super glue and glue the middle part back in 
and then re-drill it and uh, it'll be just fine it'll work out fine but meanwhile this is where we're at let me let me uh, this is things are kind of strung up a little bit This is what we've got so far to the rotisserie, okay? I am going to mount it at the bottom with screws from underneath. This one here. This one here will just, one of them will just slide. I'll make it where it slides easier. I've got to cut another board for down here that will stay stationary here, that will keep the rods in line. This would be a floating board. This board here can float to the other side. Then I've got these here drilled out and uh, put the nut through there. You open it up and then you slide the bolt down through there. And then, uh, and then these here will go at the top up here. One on each side. See, I did the same thing here. Just open that up, drill it out. You drill it out from out here. Okay, put this on a uh, on a vise or something, and then drill it here. I always start with a smaller bit, and then I go to the bigger bit. It just does a better job. Okay, and then this one here will go over there, and then this board can be pinched in there and it can be rotated. I need to get some more screws in here. This is, this is getting to where it's just, uh, it's not working for me. I've got to get some screws in the bottom, then I'm going to get you back, okay? And we'll see what it looks like. All right, here's what I've done. As you can see, it's more stable now. I got two screws in the bottom, two screws down here, holding this little board I had to make. But this being old wood, it busted out too, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to super glue in there and it will strengthen that wood up plus add a little bit of sawdust. It'll work every time. And uh, then it'll be ready. But it's on there and uh, that's what we want it. I got to see if I'm going to have any problems here. Nothing here I've anticipated. This is like a trial run. I might have to do some uh, trimming up here on the wood where I can squeeze these because I can't open them. That's what new projects are. You're going to run into problems and you've got to figure it out. Let me round these off a little bit, and then I'll get back with you. Okay, guys, I have finally got it done to where I can. It's not completed, but it's close enough to finish the video. These are one of these projects, like most projects, do it yourself. You always find something else you want to finesse or change or add to it. And that's going to be one of these two, but it's not going to be a whole lot. But I do want to catch up where I'm at, and it is good enough to use as it is. Here we go. Here we go. I added a bracket down here because this is the one that slides. This one here slides both ways. Okay. I just threw an extra bracket in here. Um, I still got to do some gluing in places. I got to cut these off. But what I did here is I ended up narrowing these up for these to where they could squeeze easier. This is going to drop out of there if I squeeze it. And uh, I did both sides where you can squeeze it easier. So there's enough room there to squeeze it now. 
and um, I could get a longer bolt. I need longer, longer bolts. I could get a longer bolt and throw in an extra washers or something down in here to give a little extra space, and it will probably do a lot better too. But um, it is there, and there it goes. It turns now. These here, you can turn, you can flip them to the inside, or take them off. See, so you can take it off too if you need it to. Get it out of the way. Just lay it down there. And then these you can flip to the inside if needed. It's just barely caught the board here because there's the components are right at the edge. They don't give you much to work with here. And this one I can flip over. And that one I can take off because there's no way to flip over with this right here. I think that's for a video card or something. Yeah, the memory's up here. That's for a video card. But anyhow, that will turn. See? You work on this side. It ain't just stay right there if you tighten it up a little bit more. But it'll pretty much stay there. And you can flip it back around the other way. See? And if you needed to, you could get uh, butterfly nuts here, and you can tighten down on it real good. Put a butterfly nut here too, and tighten down on it real good. And, uh, well like I said, I'll probably think of other things I want to do to change. This one here floats. This one right here will move all the way to adjust itself. This one will not move. Okay. But uh, it is doable, as you can see. Uh oh, it just tumbled loose over here. That's because there's not much room for the board here. There's not, this is barely, you can barely catch it along that edge. I don't know if I can do this with one hand or not. Let's find out. All right. We're back online again. But that's another reason why I drilled the holes through these pieces here a little off center because I knew the squeezing of these was going to be a little bit of a problem. But they are doable. Let me take this off here. Hang on. And that's off. And uh, as you can see, this here will slide. Oh, I bet that screw went into it. One of the screws is screwed into that board there. I gotta get shorter screws. Dang it. That's what it is. That's why it ain't sliding. Yeah, those have gotta be shorter screws. These are going in too far. See how long that screw is? That screw's too long to put it there. But shorter screws would be the answer for that. But see how it's kind of teeter-tottering a little bit here? Not much, but a little bit. But this here will slide. See where I screwed into it right there? And I might not even need that on there, you know? It may do okay without that. But I just thought, you know, a little added. But I could still put them back, but I'm going to have to use really short screws. Put it back on there. So you can squeeze and get it in there now. There it is. And take this one here off. And you can rotate it to the other side.
you know, it's either that or, you know, spend $60 plus to buy one of the others. And they may not all fit big boards, see? They may just fit small boards. But with this one, you can fit big boards. Now, the only other thing I see that I don't like, that I could change about it, is the height here. I should have made this a little bit lower. I didn't need to be that high. There's no boards I'm going to be running into that's going to be this wide, okay? I could re-drill these top holes here, bring this down, and uh, do all this work I did up here again down here. But I probably won't. I'll probably just leave it like that and try it out, see how it does. I may be glad that it is that high. But yeah, there it is. Okay. Okay, it did make it back inside. And like I said earlier, I think this is a little high up because the lamp can hardly go over it. I mean, it's over it, but it's not like the level I like to work at. So probably what I'm gonna do is take out like two or three inches here. I'm gonna re, re drill and refurbish this idea down here down lower so before I do any gluing or anything that's what I'm gonna do I'm gonna get it further down here with this board where this board here will drop down because the work level I like to work at is down lower but that's no big deal all I gotta do is just pull out screws right now nothing's glued but once I do get it down there where I want it and I'm comfortable with it then that's when I'm going to glue it up and get it just right. It'll be uh, it'll be a lot tighter. There it is, guys. I hope that helped you out. I know it helped me out a lot. But uh, I will make some more changes on it. It's no need to do an A update, something that small. But uh, at least I showed you how you could save at least $55. I probably don't even have $5 into that. Not with just stuffing around the house here, you know, uh, the wood and different things, and already had the screws, and already had the brackets, already had the little clippy things, you know. So you can get a whole, whole bunch of them there at the Dollar Tree, yeah. Or you can order them online too. I already seen that you can order them online. Okay, guys, that's it for this video. I hope to see you in the next one. Hey, I said no updates, but I just couldn't help myself. I shortened both of these here as you can tell that one and that one and it's a lot lower and man I really I really like it I mean it's down at a good level see my lamp can get right in there yeah yep and uh, if I need to heat up the other side see, I can just flip it over I can heat up the other side and I can reach around there and pull on whatever it is that I'm trying to uh, release. Yeah, my lamp gets in there good. Man, I am so excited. And this is a small um, motherboard with a piece that I cut out. I told you about that earlier. I cut it out to put on a uh, spaceship for a, uh, a, model, a model spaceship for a movie that I put together with green screen and everything it's a pretty neat looking movie but anyhow I am really excited about this I have got a new uh, desolder coming it's a uh, 40 watt I will make a video on that I won't say too much more but anyhow this has turned out real good all I got to do now is get the wing nuts for each side and then I can tighten it down and I got to do some gluing some gluing and everything but yeah I, I really 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 like this yep that's it that's it no more viewing the video or giving us a like or subscribing makes us want to bring on a little more entertainment don't you agree?